Hi YouTube, Edward Tyndall here. Alright people, finally. Tom Crisfield has made it back and I'm here live with you now. Got to get some Edward Tyndall YouTube going for the wife. She enjoys that. So here's what's going to happen today. I'm going to tell y'all how I breed pixie frogs. I got me a 300 gallon an hour pump in here. Um, if y'all stay with this project, you're going to be able to witness the whole deal all the way. So I got this bowl here. I'll turn this out so I can see what I'm seeing. I got this bowl here, and uh, I'm going to take this pump because I don't want frog eggs to go into it so I got it wrapped up with uh, green stuff like a burnt screen or whatever fill this full of water put it in this bowl like this which is the way it is I got these rocks already pre-washed these rocks put them around here I hope they still work First time I'm doing this way of the first time I'm using this pump. But it's gonna work. Um, it's gonna work in the other. This is the heat cat holes in the bowl head. This is a rain chamber. Cause you're gonna, the pixie frogs can lay dormant for 10 months to two years. Something's not right. It's gonna go like this. Sorry, that's a uh, YouTube band, but I don't want to stop it. All right, so the idea of this is to uh, I got the excess running in here, which I'm gonna hope nothing. It's not very much, just a very little. But uh, that'll keep keep things going. It will work. The frogs will hear the rain. So they'll, they'll lay dormant for up to 10 months to two years. They'll build a stack around themselves, a cocoon, like and just check out almost all their functions. And then when they come out of it, which is now rainy season, it's perfect now because the barometric pressure is dropping everything. And it's uh, rainy outside, stormy. Tornado weather. What better time than tornado weather to get things going? So, I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna, we're also gonna be doing a feeding video. I can hear that going in the background. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. We're actually gonna breed the frogs. You'll be able to see the frogs, how they breed, how they, how they do, how they breed, and how they do. Just in time, so I am um, YouTubing the frog project without you. Um, I got crickets. I got to deeply dust these crickets, actually. I mean, I. Yeah. 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 Um, We're just gonna open this in here without D3 this time. Hold that place. And then we we'll see if we're all or not. 
now. I'm trying to actually be able to see the frog eating. Here, hold this. I'm going to set to hold. Here, hold this. Yeah, they're jumpy. I don't really like crickets because they're so jumpy. Yeah, please, here. Here. Alright, he's got that. Um, I want to drown in there. You see that frog eating that? I'm going to deep three dust these here for a second. I'm waiting. Very young crickets, so they're. Uh... Oh, that was way too much. Whoops. You know what it's for? Oh, it's so hard to. Now we're gonna do this. Yep. I got a bunch of D3 dusted crickets. I'm having a hard time to them, so I'm gonna feed that one. Um, we're going to. Put some on each one, really. Put some on this one. Quite a few in every one. This is these babies. When you have baby, sorry, I'm having a, a really hard time doing all this. When you have baby pixie frogs or pack man, they need to be fed daily. And they'll need lots of nutritional supplements. Here Mikey, put this bowl baby. Keep that bowl and put it in there with the, in the bathtub. So here goes, some for this one. Set them easy baby, if you don't mind. He got one. You can see the babies that burrow down just waiting their ambush predator, waiting for something to come by, some unsuspecting little cricket, and then they'll get it. You know, when they want it. They got a few in there. Put this one back here. Lots of crickets. And uh, they have to have this so they don't get metabolic bone disease when they're small. You give them less and less as they get older. Daddy. Oh, baby. Yeah, All right now. Put this in there in the bathtub, please. Set it gently. You don't mind. Gently, son. My ears have deceived me then. These things are bottomless pits, so. When they're hungry, they're hungry, they're goose. We will sit there and just eat and eat and eat and eat. It's very important for them to get. This nutrition, like I said before, they, uh, they require a lot when they're young. When they're older, they don't. They don't need that much. And they will eat every single thing in there. Are you tired? there. I didn't hear what you said, baby. Do you eat a tire? Don't eat anything, son. They would eat and eat and eat. Did I forget to say they would eat? 
so we can get you a good close up of this a D3 that's a growing frog there you go, now just lap up everything in sight they make excellent pets for anyone that wants to do the research by watching Edward Tindall YouTube I'll tell you how to do everything with these frogs from feeding them their uh, habitat, temperature Temperature range is 72 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, humidity 50 to 70, um, 80, 80 is not bad either. Oh, just got it. They're all eating right now. Um, that one is fixing to breed. I did tell y'all which, which one I was going to breed with. So, if you haven't watched the other ones, what son? Yes, they do. Look, this is the one, he don't even fit in the frame, he's so big, but this big, huge Galapagos of a frog is going to breed the little one. She's gonna, he's going to breed with this female. They have sexual dimorphism where one's bigger than the other. Um, and this frog is a 2013 frog. And this one is a 20, 2020 frog, I believe. So about a year old, but she's the appropriate size. This thing is working very well. Okay, so all your frogs, all your frogs have been fed. All the babies have been fed, and they've got more, so they get to hunt. This this, this is the basic setup you need: cocoa fiber, a shallow water bowl, and um, and uh, keep it moist, and uh, they can bur burrow themselves down around 80 degrees small water dish like this because if you take a small small frog in this they can jump into this and cannot jump out of it so I got one about that size for that frog over there and then uh, this thing just gonna keep going the temperature of this water is 80 degrees and we're going to move the frog the big frog into here as well as the little frog and hopefully they won't poop in here I'm going to put them in a water soak before I put them in here, both of them. Get them ready, get them clean as I possibly can. And then we're going to have to do water changes on this daily with the uh, tadpoles. They should be around 4,000 babies if all goes well. And uh, I'll keep y'all posted on that as things play out. So stay tuned. Don't forget I got a playlist set up for the... Uh, pixie frogs one of them has one more video on it than the other one because I accidentally made two so um, And I don't know how to delete the playlist so y'all just Stay tuned people tend to out